So, I know that I need to record something today. And I know that it is fairly late, 8 p.m. And I know that I want to be more efficient. <laughs> and this is why I'm, <laughs> I'm going to step up my efficiency game and uh, record while I'm doing something. One of these things is actually now trying to decide what I'm going to put onto myself. I've just taken a shower. A cold one. Um, even though I do have a rule of uh, taking a cold shower for six minutes in total. But I'm going to have it like, okay, um, the first five minutes of cold shower, then a few minutes you know, kind of at least five minutes, most often <laughs> actually going for like 10 minutes of, of a warm shower and or hot, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to have another one minute cold shower so that I'm always going to leave the fucking shower after a cold shower, you know, might be dumb. Uh, sometimes I do feel it is dumb, but um, I don't know, like I like it. I think it kind of makes sense, I guess, from health perspective, and so on and so forth. And also when it comes to discipline, like, I don't want to take a cold shower. I just <laughs> don't want to. And um, then when you just still do it, or do it anyway, even though you actually really, really, really don't feel like doing it, it feels good and quite amazing and so on. But, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. And I'm probably gonna uh, hit up some quotes or some things. I do not actually want to waste your time, so I'm actually gonna go through some Reddit things for the hope of actually finding something that I believe is worth talking about. Fiance wants to end the relationship if I take the vaccine. What the fuck? After five years of a relationship, she started to hallucinate about COVID and conspiracies, specifically about the vaccine. And she believes that if I take it, it might infect her with something or have sick kids. Any advice? This is strange. You know, something that I've immediately had to think about without knowing anything. You know, I don't know the context. I don't know the people. I don't know anybody. But I wouldn't necessarily say that it is something that's, you know, all of a sudden happening. I think that one has it in oneself, you know, this tendency towards conspiracies and so on and so forth. And like, yeah, but let's see what people are saying. First and foremost, it sounds like your fiance is struggling. What is something that you can control about that situation? You can help her, sit down with her and try to work through what is bothering her and maybe you're going to need to see if she's willing to get professional help. Covid has been rough on a lot of people, which, yeah, plays into the other side of the whole thing, which is no, still the same person and, and this person is not prone to believing into um, conspiracies, but it is just um, not burnout, but... A mental state to be in, which I think is, you know, COVID really, really, really hurt it. all of us, you know, when it comes to mental things, but, you know, obviously also when it comes to physical things, but mentally a lot of people do have suffered, I don't want to point that out, and, um, well, you know, it's, it's difficult, and it's been difficult, and yeah, so it could definitely also be about that. And I kind of feel strange about actually at first thinking in this kind of negative way. Like, okay, you know, this person has always been bad or strange or whatever. But no, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, you know. As a counter to this, I was miserable trying to fight for a marriage for 10 years that was eventually a train wreck. OP isn't married yet and... IMO, he has the chance to dodge the bullet I did not. 
when you're on the inside of something, your ability to gauge what's what's within your control can be completely out of whack. I'm in my mid thirties now and happier with the life I've built for myself than ever was the last two decades, honestly. OP should sit down with his fiance to discuss what troubles her so much, but he shouldn't stick around if it becomes apparent that there are in uh, what irreconcilable differences in their worldviews. You know, which I do want to point out. I don't know if it is something that suddenly happens, you know, because it is again like, okay, um, now something is wrong, you know, but maybe something has always been wrong. But for five years, it's, you know, worked out quite fine. And, and now it kind of is bothering one of them and or it's been just, you know, coming up to a peak and whatnot. Like, uh, I know it, you know, being or have been in a relationship of three years, which by thinking back is an insane amount of time. It really, really, really is. And to some degree, one indeed can be proud of that. Uh, am I? Well, not quite sure, but uh, definitely a great experience. Don't get me wrong. Uh, one of the greatest experiences I think that I've ever had and um, definitely one of the most uh, staggering ones, you know, one of the ones that, uh, you know, probably are gonna or have altered the way I am, the way I think and the way how things are quite, but, but yeah, I mean, sometimes things just need to end, you know, even though it is just all of a sudden after five years, after three years, after seven years, even if it, you know, might not make sense, I guess, but when you are in this relationship, you know that um, things have been not that amazing for a set period of time. You know, maybe actually from the beginning on, who knows? Even though it is not very likely, I'd say. You know, because at first we all try our best and blee blah blue, but, but in the end it's like, you know, the next one anyway. Accepting yourself for who you are. Hi. I have muscular dystrophy and I can't straighten my arms. Can it make me look normal in my homecoming picture? Thanks. And now you see a girl that, um, you know, actually it doesn't look that that strange, to be honest, and or that disabled or whatever. Um, you know, you, you see it and, and, and I don't know, like, this is a message, by the way, to somebody that is, uh, well, photoshopping pictures and so forth. And he answered. Acceptance of your true self can be a constant battle. The term normal is a propaganda technique used by the modern society to make us conform to a pre-existing standard. If people can't look past your physical condition, they are most likely not worth your attention. A pretty young girl with a genuine smile and beautiful hair is all I see in this picture. Hair are actually pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking lie. They really are great. I have brushed my teeth every night and morning for 60 days straight and it feels amazing. You know, I do often point it out, I know, but even if it is something small for somebody, for somebody else, it might be something extremely big, as it is with everything, you know, for some people, this and that and these and those, it's not really that big of a deal, but for somebody else, it might just mean the world, you know, saying hi, I don't know, being nice. Having a friend, I don't fucking know, like there are so many different things that you could apply this thought to, but for so many people, and you know, for, for some this might, uh, I don't know, sound strange and or sound um, like, okay, whoa, well, I'm, I'm so sorry for this person, that this person has to feel that way and, and whatnot, but I don't know, like we all see things in a different way, we all live life in a different way, we all do things in a different way, even though... Obviously, there are certain things that um, that make us human and that make us who we are. You know, there's there's always going to be some some tendencies, I'd say, that we all have. But I don't know. Like, in the end, we are pretty much individuals. And certain things might mean a lot to somebody that absolutely mean no fucking thing to somebody else. And so to, you know, thinking about that is pretty important, you know, and being 
conscious about you know what you're talking about how you talk about these things and so on and so forth because for this person that you're talking to it might just mean the world even though it doesn't absolutely mean the world to you anyway i think that i'm gonna end it on on this note so i i wish you the best please stay safe and bye-bye